Welcome back everyone to my channel. It's been a really long time and I'm really sorry about that. I was actually doing summer sales for the last four months and I'm back now. I was actually supposed to stay a little bit longer but I decided to come back a little early because I had an opportunity to stay with the company that I was doing summer sales for uh, down here in Utah. So I'm actually back in Utah and I, I've, there's a lot of things that are happening and I'm really looking forward to making more videos and whatnot. Uh, in the next week, there's a lot going on. I'm moving uh, to a new apartment complex. Right now I'm actually in my parents' house. Um, they're letting me stay here as long as I need to in order to get settled in and get my feet planted uh, being back. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I'm actually filming on a new camera. I actually finally achieved a dream by getting a G7X Canon Pro camera. And so far it's been really helpful to see, uh, I have the camera flipped out and everything, and I can see exactly what is being shot in the camera. So I can actually see how things look and I, everything. Ugh, I'm so excited about this opportunity to have this great camera that can do so much amazing stuff. Really, I just need the basics, but it's awesome knowing what this camera is actually capable of. It's spectacular, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I, I mean, this is my first time recording anything, so we'll see how it works and how it looks on when I upload it, when I actually edit and put this all together, today's vlog. By the way, it is August 14th, uh, 2021 so yeah it's Saturday actually so thought I'd uh, put that in there so since my parents have been gone they had left for a few days and I mean they're back now but they went on a, a basically a vacation and I decided to do something that I've <laughs> I've been off and on about and you guys know I've been off and on about but I decided to do it again because I've learned and I know how to take care of this. Right here are my succulents. They, I chose them specifically. They were actually a bunch planted in some temporary pots, but when I got them at the store, I asked if they would repot it and they said that they would, and this is what they, what they did. So I found this one. This one was kind of really cool, kind of spiky. Uh, it's very firm, very stiff. These ones are just, I have no idea how to describe them, but they're they are spectacular, I like them. Um, I decided to give these ones a try again. What I wanted to do was get succulents that I knew would flower, or bud, or whatever you call it, the official term. Uh, so I decided to get these ones because I knew at least one or two of them would definitely, definitely flower. Now, this one, oops. I'm losing rocks. This one, it looked a lot better when I first got it because it was smaller and kind of close together, but it looked like a fire. It, I forgot what it's called, but it's really cool because it's got the orange, it's got the color. I wanted to have more color in this arrangement than just green, uh, although it does look a lot greener than I would have hoped, but it's still really nice. It's really, really good, but I'm really excited. Looking forward to these succulents. Um, apparently the nursery I got the this whole arrangement from, they have never had these ones before, so they don't know much about them. They know as much as I do about them. Uh, and so they're really pretty. I really can't wait to see how well this, this goes. Oh, looks like this one has some baby plants attached to it. So that's really cool. I'm really excited. I can't wait for these to all grow super tall and super big and start flowering. That's what I really want is something that flowers. But I really, really like these ones. This, it's fuzzy, very light, not like limp and loose, but like very, like you can just <laughs> flick it. Um, you obviously want to be careful, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this one grow and this one to, to start flowering because I know this one flowers. 
I don't know if they said this one will flower or not, but I hope that this one does too. But either way, as long as one of them, one of the types flower, they did say this one might flower, the red, the flaming one. I don't know. I guess we'll see. All right, so I'm coming out here because hopefully it didn't get 100% smashed down. Don't know, this might have been my box. Might have some stuff in it, but I'm not sure. Because I, if there is something in here, there's something in here, nope, there is not anything in here. Uh, so much for the looking in the trash, but. Uh, Oh, here's... Okay, I think I found it. And here is a little something I didn't think I would want for this camera, but because of how heavy it is, I'm gonna need this, this little wrist strap. All right, coming into my parents' garage, I wanna show you, I got, whoops, <laughs> I got a Segway. It's really fun, although since I got this one used from my good friend Brady, I got it from him and he he sold it to me and it works pretty well. Um, I'm excited to use this and be able to have steady shots as I'm traveling around. Doesn't look awesome. Ooh. Spin around. So, yeah. I don't think I've really actually shown you the Segway. But it's a lot of fun to ride on. A lot of fun to do. And I think I've gotten pretty good at it too. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. Just the smooth shots instead of the up and down bounces that you get from walking. It's, it's pretty incredible. Why are you beeping? <laughs> I wasn't doing anything crazy. If you remember when I went for summer sales, we did a huge packing spree and packed a lot of things. 
So, here are the things. A lot of stuff. This is actually a project I want to do. Is go through all of these things, my suitcase included, just all of it. Go through and go, I don't need this, I don't want this, oh I want this, I want to keep it. And just go through things and go, uh, and basically, what's the word? Filter, filter through things and figure out <laughs> what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep and shrink. There's a better word for it, but shrink is the best word I can think of to describe it. I want to go through all of my stuff and make sure I don't have <laughs> a whole lot of stuff when it comes time to move next week. So I'm really excited. Well, so I'm not 100% looking forward to this opportunity to go through all of this stuff, but I know it's something that I'm going to have to do. It's going to be something that I need to do if <laughs> I'm going to move. Alright, so I've been doing a lot more Minecrafty stuff. Uh, so, I mean, you can go ahead and check that out. Although, I haven't put out, at least as of this recording, I haven't put out any more Minecraft videos recently, but I'm planning on uploading soon. In the next week or two, I'll be uploading more videos, and I'm just I'm really excited to be getting back into life again. Um, summer sales really does feel like a boot camp. It's a life boot camp and your, your, your life is taken away basically from you. But with um, having been home, I've, since I've learned a lot, there's a lot of things that I want to do now. So one of those things is obviously I'm getting back into the Minecraft stuff and I can't wait to get that all sorted out and figured out. But I'm also obviously doing more of the vlogging. I wanna pick that up again, and it'll be a lot easier once I'm out of the house, out of my parents' house, and in my own apartment. It won't be in my very own apartment, I still will be sharing, but it's not student housing, so I don't have to be a student for it. What's crazy funny is that it's right next to the school, <laughs> next to the school that um, that it, it advertises for. So that's crazy that I don't have to be a student in order to live right next to the comp next to the to the college. But I'm going to be living there. I hope that the system that I applied into um, because this complex does more. Um, what's it called? They sort you they give you a survey and whatever, and you answer the questions and whatever, and then what they'll do, the system will pick the best roommates, the best other people um, that match the closest to what your specifications are and what your your um, desire desires, for lack of a better word, are, and then you're gonna be you'll be roommates with the people that you are more likely to get along with because you all have the same interests, the same ideas, and the same, just everything about life, it's it's the same, and you're probably going to get along with them. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's kind of a smaller room, but it's going to be well worth it. There's a huge bathroom attached to it, so that's spectacular, that's really great. So I don't have to share a bathroom with anybody else because all the other rooms have their own bathrooms attached to them. I'm starting a new job as well and I'll be starting next week so I'm excited for that. So <laughs> next week is pretty full of a lot of things that are, are going to happen. I'm so looking forward to picking this back up. Um, I've also done some art. Uh, I started picking up clay sculpting so I hope that I have a good hand for it. I mean, I sculpted a pumpkin, so I'll, I'll uh, try my hand at doing more stuff, practice more, and figure out how this clay, clay sculpting stuff works. I thought my pumpkin turned out pretty well. Uh, I do have it on my Etsy shop for sale, so if I don't already have one in the description, I'll put a link in the description for this pumpkin and you guys can be, I only have one, I only made one, so if you guys want to be the one that 
gets this pumpkin one of a kind, handcrafted, hand painted, you can you can definitely get one. I handcrafted one just for you. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't smiling necessarily when I was pulling out the camera, but as soon as I turned it on and started recording, I started smiling. This is really cool. So I don't know if you can already tell, but I am actually in a new apartment right now. It's fantastic. It's amazing. Um, it's it's actually brand new, apparently, according to the um, the complex. They said that they're uh, they're brand new as of like two years. They're brand new. So I am actually in a brand new apartment. I'm sorry I keep looking up at the camera or up above the camera because I'm looking at the screen. I'm gonna work on that and not do that because I know for a fact for me as a viewer watching people doing that is very annoying and I hate it when it when I can tell that they're looking somewhere else other than where they should be looking at which is the lens because that is where you guys are seeing if that makes sense so I'm gonna work on that but oh boy I'm so excited to be pulling out this camera this G7X Canon Pro camera this is super super cool super exciting it's Tuesday, August 31st, so it's actually been quite a while since the last time I recorded, but I am going to give this a shot, give it a try again, and kind of implement some things that I've learned, and I'm really excited to get <laughs> rolling further with the channel. Kind of uh, annoyingly, and probably what you guys would think is disappointingly, my room is a mess, although it is really tiny. Um, so it's it's literally just this this small. That's the wall, and that's the other wall. That door goes out to the main common area, and then this goes into actually my bathroom. So yeah, this is what my apartment looks like, or at least my room, so I have a bathroom attached to this. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how essentially I function in a very tight, small space. Do you remember Brady Williams? He had a room in uh, the last complex that we were in called the Crestwood Apartments. Uh, it was by far the best apartment I've ever had in the fact of up until this point but his room was actually just about as small or as big as my room right now what this room is it's about the same size so i i'm shocked wow he was able to live in that i'm making it function i'm making it work so far i've been i've been in here for a while uh and it's been great great experience although i do only Pretty much, I hang out here in my room most of the day, most every day. Out there is really big. At some point, I'll show you guys what that looks like. When and if I feel more comfortable doing it. Uh, it kind of depends on my other roommates. Which is also really cool because you guys understand and know that I have had some trouble and some problems with the last set of roommates that I had. It was absolutely terrible, horrible, whatever. And this time, this set of roommates are actually pretty fantastic. They keep it clean. They don't stink up the apartment. They're not loud, at least unbearably loud. They're not annoying. I mean, granted, we all just stay in our own rooms, but it's fantastic. I love it. So this is pretty, pretty great. Uh, to have even just a, a room with an apartment full of other people that have respect and understand how how to share <laughs> ultimately. It's really, really cool. Now I know you're probably kind of tired of it because this is something that I do all the time in my videos, but I'm going to clean up my room and there's just a lot of things that I need to be doing and one of the things is making my room more neat and organized so that I can function a whole lot better if that makes sense so without further ado let's go into the time lapse
Well, all complete with that time lapse. It has actually been a couple days, so it's actually now September 4th since the last clip. I finally, today, decided to clean up my room a little bit. Uh, aside from this mess here, I'll clean that up a little later, but I'm all complete. I mean, this is kind of, this is kind of organized a little bit more. Um, I don't know, I'm still working on trying to figure out what, what to do with the shelf here. It's still just empty, but I don't want it to be full, but I don't want it to be empty either. It's kind of a weird one. I'm just struggling with my closet per se. My dirty laundry goes in that bag. I was thinking about getting a container or a, a basket but for my laundry, but I don't think it's, after cleaning it up, I, I don't think that's gonna fit underneath the shelf there. I like the idea of having my shoes here. I was thinking of maybe putting my Segway there, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Thing is though, and here, I just discovered, I've been looking for my Segway charger for a long time and I forgot that I put the Segway charger in here when I moved in here. So, I found it. So now I'm actually gonna have to ask my parents if they can come and get it for me and bring it to my apartment so that I can have some fun and ride around town with my Segway. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. So I've actually been using my <laughs> laundry detergent as kind of a doorstop because <laughs> it's so heavy. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last. I think I've only done laundry once since I've been here and it's been a couple weeks already. So yeah, I mean, there's there's not really much going on at the moment, but I am trying to uh, figure out what else I can do for my videos, and I don't know, like, what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want me to do? Uh, it does take, for me, a lot of courage to put myself out there <clears throat> around here because there's so many people, so much more people even compared to when I was at the Brenbury and the Crestwood, so I'm trying to gain courage enough to go out there awkwardly with a camera Oh, there's the guy walking with the, talking to a camera. I I don't necessarily want to be that guy, but I mean, you got to do what you have to do. I just spoke to one of my roommates about my vlogging and he was like, "Oh, yeah, it's totally fine. He, he's in production, so he knows like you got to do what you have to do." Today, this screen has finally just I'm I'm fed up with it. It's given me problems. It kind of goes fuzzy sometimes. Back at the Crestwood, I had that problem a lot, but I could always kind of fix it by turning my camera, or <laughs> turning off my computer and restarting it, and then it would um, turn on just fine. But today, it just wouldn't. And then my speaker started fuzzing up too, which I have them behind there, and I, I don't really like that, but I did what I had to do. Um, but I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> it's, it's broken. When I got it from Brady, he said it was broken, uh, but it functioned just enough for what he had to do. And then he kind of, he got a new monitor, so he gave this one to me. So I have it. I knew it was going to give up anytime, any moment, anytime soon. So that happened. It's broken. I don't want it anymore. I'm going to have to get rid of it. And gladly, actually, because... I want my space back. <laughs> I want my space on this desk. It is actually a pretty big desk though, but yeah, eh, whatever. I actually got my tea here. It's uh, Virgo tea, because I'm a Virgo, so I got my tea. It's actually been very helpful, very useful for me. Today I've been very feeling very tense, anxiety, stress, whatever, just not feeling very good, but as soon as I took my first couple sips of my tea this evening has been amazing. It, it really helps calm me down, soothes me down, it 
it really relaxes me and that's the purpose of tea at least at least the tea that i get it's very it, it it's meant for me i love my tea <laughs> it really helps me calm down and refocus relax everyone has uh, a thing so everyone has either their coffee or their tea some people have their beers or wines and stuff well I have my tea that's what I want to specialize in it well not specialize that's what I want to have for myself is my tea so there we have it I have my tea now before my video gets any longer like too long I don't know if you guys noticed in the time lapse or not, but I don't know if you noticed this thing, this paper. It's actually a night routine, but I also have them right here, which is my wake up routine. And then I have in here my grooming routine for bathroom. So what this does is because I'm a Virgo, I love schedules, I love being told what to do, essentially. So I use this routine to really help me do what I want to do and really feel accomplished, if that makes sense. Now I haven't done it, haven't followed through with any of it recently. I, I again, I'm struggling a lot. There's a lot going on in my life. There's a lot that I'm working on. There's a lot that I'm just, I'm just struggling a little bit, um, but I'm hoping this coming week I will hopefully hit it hard a little bit more, a little bit better, and actually follow through with the things that I've written down. Kind of how, how it goes is I wake up, it's uh, I obviously it's like I get out of bed, then I um, I kneel at my bedside. Now, whether I pray or not is kind of up to feeling how I feel in the morning because um, sometimes I don't feel like I, I just don't feel like praying and it's not like a, oh, the, like if you don't feel like praying, then that means you should pray. No, it's my personal thing with God that if I don't feel like praying in this whole sense, then it doesn't matter, it's okay. Do it when, when you're ready. Like, for me, that's it, that's okay. So for me, I just need to kneel, I just see, see what I feel from the spirit, feel what my spirit says, or my body says to me, or whatever, just kind of kneel, or whatever, however I feel that I need to accomplish for this thing. Then I go to the bathroom, or go get food and whatever, you know, eat. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's right there, eat. Then, uh, obviously put my food stuff away and whatever, because after I eat, I gotta, gotta put that stuff away. Then, I'm on to my grooming routine. So I come in here, and I follow this thing. So obviously, <clears throat> If I, when I wake up, if I feel like I have to go to the bathroom, I mean, I, I'm not going to hold myself to, oh, well, it's not part of my schedule, my routine, so I can't go to the bathroom at this time. No. But usually, either when I wake up, sometimes I have to go to the bathroom, so I'll go to the bathroom. If I don't have to go to the bathroom, then usually by the time that I do my grooming is when I have to go to the, bra go to the bathroom, so I'll go to the bathroom. Then... Turn on the shower, pick clothes uh, to to wear for the day, <laughs> and then shower. Then I get out of the shower and I I get dressed. Then I shave if I feel like I need to. Um, some days I'm lazy, so I won't. But other days I I am uh, I'm not lazy, and so I will shave. Uh, or if my scruff is just too much, then I will shave as well. Um, if it's too much for me, then I will definitely shave. Then, brush my teeth, obviously. And then go to morning daily plans and review slash read scriptures. 
So I'll come over here and I have a planner. Uh, I don't have two planners. This is one planner. I just have two books for it. So this is actually more of a, I'll probably show you in another video, but this is more of a like kind of a list of things ideas and whatever that I want to accomplish in the day and then I transfer it over to my planner which is more of a calendar and more of well scheduling things and whatever so these two are basically the same thing they just have different purposes and help me with different things so I'll come over here and and review what I have the plans I have for the day and what I need to accomplish so that I know what I need to do during the day and what I hopefully can accomplish for the day. So for the rest of the day then, that means that my planner is the thing that tells me what to do for the rest of the day. Um, my morning plan, my morning routine, oh, my roaring routine and my grooming routine and my night routine, which I'll go over really quick those all tell me what to do when like during these certain times but then when it comes to the rest of the bulk of the day this is my planner is what tells me what to do helps me stay on track stay focused and be able to just feel like i'm accomplishing something during the day then nighttime comes i in my head just kind of have a curfew still haven't really followed it but I'm wanting to work on that and I really want to try following through with that. So my night routine is really simple actually. <laughs> I thought it would be more complicated and complex than this, but it's actually really simple. So my night routine, I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave, I wanna leave this here because I don't, <laughs> it's just annoying. It's annoying as it is. So night routine, I change for bed. Then I brush my teeth, and then I go to nightly planning. So I go to here to my planner, and I plan what I'm going to do for the next day. I, I, I love planning, it's so much fun. Then I pray, and then go to bed. So it's really simple, really easy, really simple routines, life. <laughs> um, I don't know like if any of this is making sense, but that's just, how I am that's how I'm going to do things now and or at least that's that's my goal that's what I want to do uh, in, in my life is just I just want to I'm just doing everything that to improve my life and it's taken a while it's taken a few years to really figure it out but ever since I got back from Ohio from doing summer sales I've improved a lot I've learned a lot and I'm super excited and ready to implement the things that I've learned from <laughs> from being out there and then the things that I've I've thought about while I was out there I've finally I'm finally ready to, to do it so I'm really really excited and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the journey that I I have in my life uh, I'm hoping that I can uh, post regular more regularly now since this is the end of the video if you haven't or uh, If you haven't already, please Consider subscribing if anything my goal is to get so as it stands right now. I have about 92 subscribers on my channel and This is my birthday month it's September and I really want to make sure I can get to at least a hundred and three subscribers by my birthday do you think we can do that? I hope so. I really hope so. I hope I can put out enough uh, videos before then uh, to really promote and see if we can actually reach that goal of 103 subscribers um, by by my birthday. So I, I hope I hope we can do that. It's September 21st, so yeah, you can put that in your calendar. If we have enough of an interest, I might do a live stream with uh, on my birthday, depending on what happens and what my, my, what my plans are, I might actually do a live stream for my birthday. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.